What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jobbers and Goons, and today we have another Warhammer 40k style video. This time, Master Chief has come forth and will be thrust into the Warhammer verse. How will this go? This is actually very unique, and I'll get into why this situation is unique to analyze in a minute. But before we get into it, make sure to smash the like button. 200 plus likes would be amazing. The more likes we get, the more we get into the algorithm and we are on the road to 30K. So it'd be amazing if you could subscribe and turn on the notification bell as well and tell everybody to tune in and join Goon Nation. Now, here's another thing you can do. Join the Discord. We have games, surprises, giveaways, D&Ds, and more. You can also purchase content by hitting me up on Discord or you could also purchase channel memberships through youtube completely up to you i appreciate all the love and support and everyone tuning in now why is this topic kind of tough slash interesting with master chief well master chief doesn't scale like the other characters we typically cross over into warhammer for example we've used doomsday doom slayer you know really dr doom really strong characters master chief is not nearly that tier of power so we kind of got to look at what master chief brings to the table and what that brings to the warhammer verse or if he just dies off rip because no one cares so master chief ever since the age of six was trained to be the one of the greatest warriors in the universe has the best training possibly offered by mankind throughout the galaxies. On top of this, he has this innate luck. He has the ability for situations to shift in his favor. Not only this, he stated that even as a kid, before he trained and honed this, he could see the outcome. He could see the future. So he can literally see what's going to happen and either pick which way he wants things to go or alter it so he does have some pretty interesting hacks that obviously the video games don't spend too much time talking about or fleshing out but other forms of media have and i think it's amazing he is going to be a well-respected combatant in terms of what he actually brings to the table in terms of skill and he will also be respected for the luck hacks and the future sight hacks. Now, the reason this is important is because both of those two things can provide some value to the Imperium of Man. You see psychers uh, in those that typically with power serve the Emperor and the Imperium. They have abilities similar to Master Chief. Not only this, they can amplify these abilities to a insane magnitude to where master chief now has od luck od future sight he's almost gonna be impossible to run down on at that point it's gonna be really tough even if he doesn't necessarily scale to you he'll see you coming and he'll see all the outcomes and everything of that nature it'd be incredibly difficult to engage him especially if he's leading forces and can almost be a masterful tactician in that way like be able to dispatch certain forces here because he knows the outcome and knows he can use them to destroy something it would be insane how amped he would get from circumstances like working with psychers so i do think he would have a place within the imperium of man and would provide a very powerful soldier and weapon against all things of the chaos because master chief is fearless he has trained arguably as long as any of the space marines um and he has just as good of training on top of this he's brilliant himself and he has his unique hacks so as a weapon for the imperium he would indeed be valuable how would this play out though like what what would his career be like in warhammer before we get into this, I want to speak on something a member of my Discord said that was pretty funny when we, I kind of posed this topic to my Discord, and I was like, hey, how do you guys think Master Chief does in the crossover? And somebody said it would be funny 
if he went around the orcs. They saw him get lucky. They saw like his fancy shields and stuff, and they're like, "Oh my god, he really is like the the goat of luck." And then what orcs believe becomes real, so they could make like an infinite luck loop for for Master Chief, where he could just spam that shit on everybody. Now, in terms of getting back to what would his life be like and how would his career pan out with the Imperium? Uh, if we assume he's not at his age put under the Space Marine um, process, which of course is crazy, including castrating you, he's already been put under processes, had enhancements. Let's say they keep that. They keep him. They enhance his hacks heavily provide better armor stronger armor and weapons you now have a master chief with all of his brilliance and his training on top of whatever he perceives and picks up and learns while briefly training with these new forces in warhammer you have this for master chief you have insane tech and weapon upgrades that he can now utilize you have made Master Chief significantly more dangerous. Most of the uh, troops and, you know, legions within the Imperium, he could serve under with Space Marines. He probably could. Just with his hacks and what he could be provided for weaponry, armory, and all that, his skill, ingenuity, and luck would bring a lot to the battlefield and the fights against the forces of the chaos now i actually do think they would give him his own legion it would probably be somewhat unique in nature and he would be the leader uh, he would get his own platoon of space marines based on his abilities his luck his foresight all that he would be an amazing character to use um, in terms of like recon and infiltration. For example, he's breaking into somewhere. He's going to see where people are coming, where people are at, how this could play out. If he goes here, he'd get lucky breaking into shit. Like, <laughs> it'd be really annoying. You, you get him some worthy backup and you have a serious threat as a, a troop that gets something done. So how does that go for Master Chief? With his hacks, with his access to better upgrades, and his own skill and intelligence and tactical brilliance, Master Chief would be a well-decorated soldier within the Imperium. He would be a useful asset for them. However, he wouldn't scale to big dogs at all. If he ever runs into a big dog, if he ever runs into something within the warp that you know it's crazy he could maybe get lucky and escape it he's definitely not doing any damage and if he's forced to engage probably gets cooked because there's plenty of characters um that have crazier hacks way crazier hacks within the verse that also don't fuck with the imperium so he would be well decorated in service of the emperor of mankind but master chief's run would inevitably end uh picking and biting more than he can chew uh he's just he's too real and that's gonna that shit will get you killed <laughs> in warhammer 40k but anyways guys thank you so much for watching shout out to my boy white fang for sponsoring this uh what if crossover if you want to see characters crossover into warhammer 40k hit me up on discord to talk purchases or if you want to win free videos simply join the discord server and take place in the games and opportunities for giveaways but anyways it's been your boy jobbers and goons and i'll see y'all later peace